in this tutorial we will learn AutoCAD surface modeling. So first click on this drafting annotation and select 3D modeling. Then from here unsaved view select the CISO matrix and to remove this XYZ from this position give UCS icon command enter no worries. Then create one rectangle using rectangle command or you can also create using line. So the rectangle give first point, give second point. Then to convert this rectangle into surface, click on surface, then select extrude. Select object to extrude, select this rectangle, enter, give direction where you want to go and give the height, by how much height you want to go there, suppose I want to go by 3, enter. To see this in shaded loop, click on this home and from here select shade. So in this way the surface is created using rectangle. Now to cover this area, you can go back to surface, click on planner. So you can cover using planner, blend or patch. So you will see by planner, planner surface. Give the first point, give the second point. So it will create a rectangle and cover that surface. Suppose I want to create one surface here, vertical surface. So again I will create rectangle. You can create rectangle from here also, rectangle. Give first point, give second point, or you can use the dimension option also if you want to create with dimension. Then again use extrude, select object to extrude, enter, give the height, how much you want, enter. Now here this surface I want to cover with blend. I want to use blend for this blend surface, surface blend. So I will choose blend. Then he is asking me to select first surface edge to blend. Suppose I want to blend this surface, this edge. Then press enter. Then select second surface edge. So this is the second surface edge. Then press enter. Now here one blend has been created. So from using continuity, you can define the type of curve. If you take the G0, if you for a first you have, you will have to defend G0 two times for for first age and second age. So two time you have to click on G0. If you take G0, then a flat surface will be created like this. So I will just press enter to come out. So flat flat surface will be created. If you don't want a flat surface. So you just undo it, then again blend, select first surface edge to blend, enter, second surface edge, enter, then continuity, suppose I want, ok I will keep G1, G1 only, then bulge, bulge magnitude, you can control the bulge magnitude, so how this shape should look like. You can control that using bulge magnitude. Now, currently, first edge bulge magnitude is 0.5. Suppose I make it 1, and second edge bulge magnitude also I will make it 1. So, in this way, the bulge is created. You can keep different bulge magnitude also for edge, first edge, edge bulge, I will keep it 1, and for second edge, I will make it. So in that way, that bulge will be created. And in this, if I change the continuity to, to G2, so at, at, as per that, the curvature will be defined. Then press enter to come out. So in this way, this bulge has been created. And suppose I want to cover this surface, cover this empty area. So it can be done in two ways. So you can uh, extend it and trim it or you can use the patch also. So we will see the both ways. So first we will extend 
select this age, enter, give the height, uh, how much height you want to go up. So I will take suppose 5. Then after that I want to trim this extra surface. So I will use trim. So select surface or region to trim. So I want to trim this surface. So I will select this surface and press enter. Then select cutting curve with respect to cutting curve or surface. So I want to trim with respect to this bulge. So I will select this bulge and enter. Then select area to trim. So you can define. I want to remove this upper area. So click on that. So in this way, press enter to come out. So in this way, this surface is created. Connected surface. So it is. It is a single. It is a, a surface has been created there. So same way you can create a surface using patch also. Surface patch. So for bend actually, you will need two surfaces and patch can be created using one surface. So patch. So I will create this curve and this line. Then press enter. You can define the continuity or bulge if required. I don't need any bulge. And I will keep continuity as it is. So I will just directly press. I will not change any parameter I mean, and I will directly press enter. So in this way also you can cover that surface. So both the surface has been covered properly. Same is uh, I want to okay you can make the grid saw from here grid display off. I want to cut this surface. So for that you can use again trim trim select surface or region to trim so this surface enter select cutting curve so this rectangle enter then select area to trim so this inside area so in this way this has been trimmed so in this way this side area is developed press escape to come out so you can copy this uh, shape directly also using copy command autocad copy command so from home you can take the copy here copy select the object those you want to copy then enter then give the base point suppose this end point I want to put this end point here Escape. so in this way you can copy the surface and here also I want to trim it so using surface also you can trim you using sketch you can trim or you can using surface also so here again I want to trim, so I will again say trim, go to surface, trim, surface or region to trim, this surface, enter, cutting curves, so this one, enter, area, this enter, so in this way this is also created. Then suppose I want to press escape to come out, suppose I want to create one rectangular hole here, at some distance from this point, and so to get that distance I will use the line command line so I will take this line I will give the distance suppose I want at a distance of 6 enter and from here on distance of 4 one rectangle is needed enter so from here I will take rectangle give the first point then give the second point how much big you want you can also use the dimension. So give the length. Length is five. Suppose width is four, and I want it on this side. So I want hole like this here. So for that again, I will use the extrude. Select the rectangle. Enter. Give the direction below there, and give the height. So height is three is the height that we have taken in the start escape so in this way this bottom portion is created now again we can trim it using trim select surface or region to trim enter cutting curves enter and area to trim. escape so in this way you can create holes also then if you want to create uh, something on other surface so whatever we have created on xy plane only Suppose I want to create something on this surface, so for that I will have to change the plane. So for that go to home and from here you can change the plane. Suppose you, if you want to work on this surface, you can take the red plane. 
right? So x, x y is parallel to the surface, and here you can create the surface. Suppose I want to create a circle, center radius by tracking this midpoint. Use the radius, whatever you want. Then again, you can convert it into a surface using click on surface, extrude, select this circle, enter, give the height. Using trim, you can trim the internal surface. So here, I can cover this using bulge, using patch actually, patch surface patch. Then select this circle, enter. If you want it plain, directly press enter. So it will be created as a plain surface, and if you don't want a plain surface, delete it. Again, select the patch, select this circle, enter, and from here give the bulge magnitude. So bulge magnitude right now 0.5. Suppose I make it one, and continuity is G0. If you take the G0, a plain surface will be created. But I don't want a plain surface, so I will take it G1. So in this way, the bulge is created. So you can adjust the bulge. Suppose I want to reduce it to 0.75. Then continuity. If I take the G2, as per that, that curve will be created. Then press enter. So in this way, this bulge is created. So if I want to create on something on this surface, then again I will have to go to home, and from here I will have to choose the front. So to work on this front, to work on this right, and to work on this surface, we have to select the top. So front, so x y is parallel to this surface. Again, I will create some shapes. Suppose I create rectangle here. Again, surface, then extrude. Select the object, enter, give the height. You can cover it using blend or patch any option. So in this way, you can create a surface model in AutoCAD. Thank you.